of everybody. So today I'm at Priority Honda taking a look at the all new 2017 Honda Civic Si sedan. Huge thank you to Priority Honda for providing the vehicle for today's video. I'll have the link to their website in the description below. Definitely check them out. And the model that we're looking at today is finished off in crystal black and has an MSRP of 24700 Underneath the hood is a 1.5 liter single scroll turbocharged four cylinder engine that pumps out 205 horsepower at 5700 RPM and 192 pound feet of torque between 2100 and 5000 RPM. The engine is paired to a six speed manual transmission and sends the power to the front wheels through a limited slip differential. This features the same engine in the turbo Honda Civic, however the SI comes with a larger turbo with 3.8 more PSI of boost. And you can expect to see 0 to 60 come in at 6.5 seconds, with 0 to 100 at 16.1 seconds, quarter mile at 14.9, and a top speed of 137 miles an hour. The overall wheelbase is 106.3 inches, with a length of 182.8 inches, the height is 55 and a half, and the width is 70.8 inches. And with a curb weight of about 2,900 pounds, expect to see 28 miles per gallon in the city with 38 miles per gallon on the highway, all on a 12 and a half gallon fuel tank. And for a sedan, the SI also has a pretty good weight distribution with 60% over the front and 40% in the rear. The SI has an aggressive front end with a gloss black grill with your SI badge. Each side of the bumper has some nice contours to it with some good looking flares. You have fog lights in the lower bumper, a small splitter with aggressive mesh where you can see your intercooler. Very sharp lines all around giving the front end a very beefy look. Moving to the side of the vehicle, we get a set of 18 inch alloy wheels with a two tone silver and gloss black finish. 12.3 inch ventilated disc brakes up front with 11.1 inch solid disc brakes in the rear. The side profile is very similar to the standard Civic sedan. Nice clean line running through the center of the vehicle where the door handles are. Chrome trim along the top of the windows. And very good proportions all around giving it a clean look. The car also features a side view camera. When you put your turn signal on, it'll show you who's in your blind spot. We also get a sunroof up top, shark fin antenna. And leading to the rear of the vehicle, we get a nice spoiler on all the SI models. The coupe gets a little bit different shaped one. Aggressive taillights we saw in the new 2016 model. More contours in the rear end, similar to the front, giving it some nice flare. Then we also get a center mounted exhaust tip. And finishing up the rear with the standard backup camera. Overall really sharp looks all around for the car. The center exhaust ties in very nicely with the sides of the vehicle. It's definitely a subtle upgrade compared to the standard sedan. Basically we got the spoiler, the exhaust, the wheels, and a little bit more flaring around the body. And now to take a look at the interior, keeping the smart key in my pocket. Grabbing the door handle will automatically unlock it. The SI features a black interior. We get some red stitching all throughout. And looking at the door panel, we get some nice black cloth with some more red stitching along it. Some dark silver trim with an ergonomic shaped door handle. All your window and mirror controls and your trunk release and a little bit of storage. Coming into the vehicle, we get some black sport bucket seats. Very large bolsterings all around for your legs, your lower back, and your shoulders. We get SI embroidered. Very cool looking two-tone colors. More red stitching all manual controls. And then up front we get your leather wrapped steering wheel with red stitching. Now inside the car I'll go ahead and put my foot on the clutch and start it up. On the left side of the steering wheel we have all your Bluetooth and audio controls with your volume button right here and it'll even show it on the display. You can change between the different sources by going up and down. It'll change on both screens and then left and right will change it and then your Bluetooth settings. Cruise controls on the right side. Very nice looking soft leather. I love the red stitching on it. And then on the left stock if you press the button on the side your camera will pop up to see who's in your blind spot on that side. Has a nice digital display in the center with your large tachometer. You have your engine temperature on the left side and then your fuel level on the right, your odometer, exterior temperature, throttle, and then a boost gauge as well. And then over on the left side we have your traction control button, nice looking carbon fiber finished, your air vent on the left side, more air vents in the center, your touch screen display, you go through all your various audio settings, the volume is a touch sensitive button, and then pressing the climate button shows all your climate control settings, changing your fan speed, different zones and different temperatures, your dial switches for your temperature, 
different zones. And then your heated seat buttons. A little bit of storage here, you can place your phone and there is a little convenient area that you can actually put your wires because that leads down to another storage area with some USB outlets. You get the nice six speed manual transmission, very nice shifter feel. Pretty short throw is really easy to get it right into each gear. And then going all the way to the right and down is your reverse. And then we have your backup camera with your guidelines as you turn the wheel. We have a brake hold, your electronic park and brake, and then your sport mode button. It'll activate it on and off. And then moving to the center console of the car, more cloth on it. You can slide this back, which is your armrest, and then lift it up. We have tons of storage space down here. Everything slides, you can move it all around. We have more cup holders down here. And then to look at the glove box, we actually have a lot of space down in here. Definitely can fit many things. More of the carbon fiber finish, faux leather accents with some stitching on it. Really cool looking door panel with the red stitching, the black cloth. Another look at the bucket seats, which are really comfortable. It's nice to sit in them. I feel like they go up your leg quite a bit, so you have a lot of comfort. The bolsters seem to do a really good job and hold you in place. This car also does have the sunroof, manual sunshade, and then all your buttons on the top. Now to take a look at the rear seats of the car, we'll go ahead and open up the door. Get a nice little armrest with your window control, a little bit of storage down below. Some more red stitching back here. Sitting in the back seat, you actually have a lot of room back here. It's pretty comfortable. Legroom is really good. I have about that much space where my knees are with the driver's seat where I would actually have it. Headroom is a little scarce. I have about an inch or two up there, so not too much headroom, but still pretty comfortable back here. And now to take a look at the trunk space, we can either use the key fob, the button on the door, or just the button back here. We have 14.7 cubic feet of space back in here. The rear seats do fold down flat. We have levers on each side that you can pull. Plenty of space down here. Being front wheel drive, there's no drivetrain in the way, so you can have a nice deep trunk. Definitely plenty of space. Five seater car, nice size trunk. So obviously a very practical car. All right, now to take a really, really quick drive in the car just around the parking lot to kind of feel it out. So shifter, really, really easy to engage the gear. The clutch, there's practically no weight to it. And then just idling here, steering wheel is pretty easy. So we'll go ahead and just give it a little bit of gas and start moving. Super easy to get going as far as a manual car goes. Again, there's no weight in the clutch pedal at all, super fluid. As far as visibility goes in the car, it seems really good. You don't really have any blind spots all around. You can easily look over your left and right shoulder. Very large pieces of glass in the front and the rear, so you have really good visibility looking forward and looking in your rear view mirror. Now something new with the SI, there's no more VTEC for the car. It is now a turbo engine, as you all know. So that is something cool now. We now have torque in the car. So before you really had to redline it, make the VTEC do its job. So now with the turbo engine, just giving it a little gas. You can feel the turbo kick in well under 4,000 RPM. It'll just kind of get you going. So at least for slow speed settings, it'll get you up and going. With this kind of drivetrain layout, you can now get a little bit more power out of it. It's more linear, low end power you have and the higher end power you have. So overall, pretty cool car. Obviously driving on some mountain roads and some real roads would be a lot more fun to test drive it to see what it's really capable of doing. But overall though, pretty cool car, a lot of sporty features of it, pretty easy to drive, at least in a slow speed environment, but definitely a nice upgrade over the previous generation SI. And then another quick look at the interior from the passenger side. Pretty sporty over the overall Civic. I really like the seats a lot. Great look to them, the kind of carbon fiber color look to it. Very sporty looking. The red stitching, the bolsters are really nice. Some cars kind of miss the mark not putting any bolstering in a car like this, but it is nice that you do get some bolstering. So they're very comfortable to sit in and when you have some fun in the mountains with this car, they'll definitely keep you in place. The manual transmission feels really nice. The shifter, a nice round design, really easy to hold, easy to pop it into each gear. And then the clutch pedal is insanely light, very easy to engage it. So super easy car to drive, a lot of cool features in it. Pretty sporty overall in the interior and exterior as well. So there you go everybody, that is a full look at the all new 2017 Honda Civic Si. This is the 10th generation of the Honda Civic and the 8th generation of the Si. So very cool to see the progress from the beginning to the current model year. You can also get this car in the coupe form. It looks very sporty, has a little bit cooler looking spoiler. So it is great that you can get the Si, either one you'd like. So overall, a very sporty car, cool looking on the inside and the outside. Really easy to use manual transmission and a turbo engine that there is tons of potential. You can tune this car and modify it to be pretty impressive. And once again, huge thank you to Priority Honda of Huntersville for providing this car for today's video. I'll have the link to their website in the description below. Definitely check them out. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button down below. So thank you all for watching and we'll see you all next video.